360 is one of the best laptops on the market. After reading several reviews and browsing in stores, I decided on the Spectre X360 mainly due to the power you get for the price. For just over $1,000, I was getting this configuration, with an Intel Core i7-5500U Broadwell processor, 8GB of RAM, a 256GB SSD, and a Full HD 1080p IPS display. Pretty good. Six months ago, that was the best deal I could find for such a thin and light laptop. The Lenovo Yoga Pro 3 was around the same price at the time, and that came with an underpowered Core M processor and a much more limited port selection than the Spectre X360, though it was lighter. Having seen others experience scaling issues with such high resolutions as a Quad HD display in certain productivity applications, not including basic apps like Office or browsers, I opted for the Full HD Spectre over its Quad HD option. I hoped that the Spectre X360 would last me many years of heavy use when I purchased it, so let's see how it's holding up six months later. I have had no issues with the hinge, and it feels exactly as it did when I purchased the device, allowing me to flip the Spectre into tablet mode with no issues. The hinge is a bit loose for my taste. It does wobble a bit when you use the touch screen without supporting the screen with your other hand but since I don't like using the touchscreen extensively when it's in laptop mode, it isn't really an issue for me. Like the hinge, the keyboard is held up perfectly well. It is an excellent keyboard, with no flex, and is one of the best you can find on the laptop, certainly on a, such a thin and light laptop. The trackpad is wide and awkward, but still functions very well and has shown no signs of wear. The IPS Full HD display is excellent, with great viewing angles and colors. It is a bit glossy though, but what can you expect from a touchscreen? Despite a few bumps from everyday use, the Spectre X360 looks and functions pretty much as well as it did when I first took it out of the box. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but those can be easily cleaned. The HP Spectre X360 comes with a very generous selection of ports, especially for its weight and thinness. It has one USB 3.0 connector on the left side, along with the the exhaust vent, as well as the AC power adapter. And on the right side, you have the microphone headphone jack, two more USB 3.0 ports, a full-size HDMI port, a mini display port, and a Windows button and the volume rocker for when you're using it in tablet mode. When I first purchased the Spectre, it ran Windows 8.1, Everything performed extremely well, except for the Wi-Fi card. While it got great speeds while in the same room as the router, it performed rather poorly when farther away compared to other devices. It was definitely a driver issue. The upgrade to Windows 10 made the situation much worse. Several times the Wi-Fi would simply stop responding, forcing a restart of the system before I could reconnect. Drivers downloaded through HP's driver utility sometimes caused more problems than they resolved. Sometimes the trackpad would simply stop working. However, updates downloaded from HP in December and earlier this month seem to have resolved all of my issues. The Wi-Fi has performed very well, and there have been no issues with the trackpad after the latest Synaptics touchpad update. Tablet mode isn't exactly a joy to use on this machine. While the slightly large bezels are good for providing a nice grip on the sides without accidentally touching the screen, the laptop is simply a bit too heavy for comfortable tablet use. Tablets definitely need to be lighter than 3.2 pounds to be comfortable. However, I have found uses for this mode. While lounging on the couch, or when I was on a cramped flight, I was able to play Civ 5 and Beyond Earth in Windows 8 touch mode for several hours in tablet mode. Of course, more casual titles, such as Sonic Dash from the Windows App Store, also function very well on the Spectre X360. The Spectre X360 has been a great performer. I have been able to do several tasks at the same time with few to no slowdowns. I can have several tabs open in Edge and Firefox and be exporting a video and work on a Word document all at the same time with little to no issue. The fan does come on occasionally, but mostly only when you're doing really heavy work. And the laptop never gets too hot, though it can be unpleasant when it's exporting and rendering videos. Casual and mid-range games run well on the Spectre. 
including Civilization V, which runs great at 720p and is somewhat playable at 1080p. Boot times are almost instantaneous thanks to the solid-state drive. The drive itself isn't the fastest, but it is a decent SSD with 550 megabytes per second of read and 280 megabytes per second of write speed. The 512 gigabyte SSD option will definitely be a better performer, but the smaller, slower 128 and 256 gigabyte SSDs will definitely suffice for general tasks and even heavier tasks. The HP Spectre X360 was an excellent value at the time it came out. It has proven itself to be worth its cost with its versatility and power for the price. As a very light tablet user myself, the Spectre has essentially done everything I would use a tablet for. For others, this may not be the case due to its weight and the awkwardness of having the keyboard on the backside of the tablet. If weight is an issue, the Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro, Yoga 900, and the Toshiba Satellite Radius 12 are convertible laptops that are lighter, and in the Toshiba's case, smaller. Of course, the Surface Pro 3, HP Spectre X2, and Lenovo Mix 700 are detachable convertibles that may be an option for you if you're a heavier tablet user. I give the Spectre X360 a very positive endorsement, given how it is held up over months of fairly intense everyday use. It is a top-tier machine at a good price that will hopefully last me for several years. So the verdict is, I highly recommend this device. You can find the Spectre with the fifth generation Broadwell i7 at the Microsoft Store and Best Buy. Of course, the updated Spectre with the sixth generation Intel Core i5 and i7 processors can now be found at HP.com, Microsoft Store, and Best Buy. And a new 13-inch edition with an OLED display as well as a 15-inch Spectre with either a 1080p or 4K display will be available soon from HP and other retailers. Thanks for watching.